The name Darlene Check is fairly recognized in the worship music industry. She's associated with the Hillsong Worship Projects. We had the awesome opportunity of sitting down with their house band, the Hillsong Live Band. They're from Sydney, Australia, and they shared with us what it's like to be a part of the original purpose of worship music. That's right. Being with God purely, mm -hmm. just expecting Him, having His presence come down. And some of the answers they gave, we really did not expect to hear. Watch this. Absolutely. So, I mean, we, we are the home worship team and we've got a, a team of, um, in, in reality, like hundreds of, of volunteers to, to cover that, um, you know, those 30 services that Reuben talked about. And um, so when we're away, I mean, the amazing thing about our, our church is that there's, there's amazing strength at home. There's great, great worship leaders that are, that are there. So we're just a small representation, really, of a, of a bigger team that is, is incredible. The first thing, I guess, again, is just to say that, that it's a church, and so we've got um, a whole lot of people that, that come in and, and volunteer their time. They, mm. And essentially, there's people that love God and, and want to serve Him and want to build what He's building, which is His church. And, um, and so our responsibility then as pastors is to try and help people to do that and help you know, create opportunity for them to steward the gift. And, and so we've, we're fortunate to have a, a great creative team and, and a whole lot of people on that team write songs and, and the heart of that team of, of our songwriters is really to, to write songs that speak into the life of our church. And, and so that if there's a need in church for a song, and a particular song, then our team is, is busy trying to write it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's actually where the vitality comes um, in, in the songwriting, I think is this acute sense of need for our, song, our church to have a song to sing. Mm -hmm. We become irrelevant when we stop having something to say, when we stop being true to the message. Reality, no matter what the generation, no matter how young, how old, people need Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we need to find new ways of saying that, and. Um, we need to be fresh in that approach. Music ultimately is, it's a vehicle, it's a tool to help people and so that can change. There's no, you know, God is not in one certain style, I don't believe. So we need to be flexible and we need to change. But ultimately, the only thing that will make us irrelevant is not keeping the message about Jesus and His, his power to help people. I think you've just got to keep grounded in Christ. Where he is today, like I need Jesus, and I need. I hope I never forget that, and, mm. and that's the reality. Mm. I need to have a personal and living, and vital relationship with God, and I can't. Mm. I don't want to do this without that. Yeah, totally. I mean, prayer is one of those things for for a believer that um, is it's it's right at the heart of it. It's it's relationship with God. And there's nothing more um, real about the Christian faith than, than the fact that we have access to God, that we, ha we can have a relationship with God. And, and prayer is that vehicle. And I think there's a power in, in praying together. Worship's an amazing and a, a, a huge, huge topic to talk about. It's mm. really, it's the grand theme of the Bible. Um, and, and something I think about a lot, I guess, you know, there's no actual definition in the Bible of worship. There's no worship equals this, um, there's no mathematical equation to worship. Um, it more points to stories and people and um, uses metaphor. Um, Psalms talk about worshippers in terms of being arrows that are aimed straight at God's bullseye, you know, um, or, you know, it points to people like David who had a heart after God. He was a warrior, but he was a passionate worshipper who was excessive in his worship. So I think it's a, it's a massive theme. There's not one definition, but it's it's this, I don't know, incredible thing of adoring mm. God and looking to God. I, th I think definitely, and I think that's one of the powerful things about coming into a, into a meeting where there's other people confessing as well, and I think that is the great thing about singing. You know, it's one of the most unique ways of us all agreeing together about who God is, and mm. the Bible says that when we do that, when we agree um, around who He is, that He's there, He's there with us. and. And so I think in, in worship, you know, people get revelation. I've heard story after story of people who, um, you know, in real situations, you know, they're standing there in worship and God has spoken to them and said, take this course of action or this needs to change. And they're real situations and real answers for people. Mm -hmm.